In today's video we take a closer look at the Maxace Red Queen Aluminum. That's knife collector here. Thanks for tuning in, my name is Henk. The Red Queen is a model Max Ace introduced last year with premium materials, Karambit style, Hawkbill style EDC blade with M390 uh, blade steel, titanium frame and this month they introduced the budget variant the aluminum, so the Red Queen aluminum. Same design, same knife, except with budget, more budget friendly materials and a few less design elements, just a bit simpler. The ID for designing this knife was to design an EDC able uh, knife to carry for just regular daily EDC tasks but styled on the Karambit or Hawkbill so it can serve uh, defensive tasks as well it's a big blade, 4 inch, 4 inch blade, so a bit more as 10 cm. And it comes in three color variants. This one, the blue frame with yellow G10 inserts. Then there is a red one with dark red inserts and a grey one with blue inserts and then every color variant is available with two blade options the stonewash blade or as in this case the dark uh, the dark st uh, coated stonewash blade Let me put in some pictures of the six variants of the Red Queen right now. Do you think you know just who you are driving around chasing money in a man made car? It is a bit funky design. But it is a very well built knife and also very ergonomic and very useful. Opening bo boxes, cutting straps, um, just that kind of EDC tasks. And of course personal defense tasks, but I don't want to think of that kind of work for this knife. But very useful hawkbill styled knife. MSRP on this knife is I think $159 but you can find them right now they were just since a week available I think around $100 in the United States and in Europe I have not seen a retailer who has this on stock already so I, my guess is when they arrive in Europe they will be something around 120-130 euro because of all the taxes we pay some specs the length of the knife in centimeters it is 22.7 cm and the blade length is about 10 cm and then in inch it is a little bit under 9 inch 
with a blade length of 4 inch. And then the weight. Hundred and sixty four gram or four five point eight ounce for such a big knife, pretty acceptable. And of course, it's due to the aluminum that it is not very heavy. Then the knife here, you can see the gorgeous dark stone wash. on the blade. Very nice grind with a swatch. A high flat portion and then the flat grind of the primary bevel or primary edge. And then a very sharp fine secondary edge. It's very sharp. Here you can see it on top and it tapers down to a very fine thin point. Thumb starts opening. The way the thumb studs are shaped they are very they have lots of grip. Very nice, very nice chamfered, so not aggressive. Jimping on top provides some traction, small ramp, very nice lines. I like the pivot with the Max Ace logo. It's Torx construction. And then the aluminum is blue anodized and in this case blue anodized with G10 inlays for grip. Screws are very nicely sunk into the aluminum frame and the G10 provides really some traction and grip. In the aluminum frame you see steel liners, so they make the aluminum rigid and give a lot of strength. And of course it is a liner lock. So this is a very well built, very strong knife. Very clean work on the inside. Backspacer, also aluminum, and it is for three, three quarters of the length of the frame, so you also can clean it very easy. The jimping continues on the frame, and it really provides traction. Very nice, not aggressive, but enough traction. It runs on bearings, so very smooth, very good lockup. I think 30%. And you can see it is very smooth, very well centered, no blade play whatsoever. Steel clip provides lots of tension but also lots of spring so this will work uh, the only thing I don't like of the clip it is um, pointing upwards and I would have seen this flat horizontal not upwards but on the other hand the way the clip is mounted it doesn't cause a hot spot in my hands, so, and I have medium sized hands, though for most people I don't think the upwards uh, pointing clip doesn't cause any problems.
problems, but for some people it might causing a hot spot, but for most people I don't think it's a problem. And then one other thing I like less is this portion here. This is pretty pointy. It is not um, it is very well finished, not roughly finished, but it is a pointy area and when you hold the knife like this it can poke a little bit in your hand but when you hold it more up front then this portion will cause no problem at all but only when you want to have get more reach then this will poke in the hand this portion but regular grip no problems at all and it bring me, brings me to the ergonomics the ergos of this knife the regular grip are great because of the big choil you can also choke up for controlled work for very detailed controlled work and it's a big choil and it's pretty safe to do and because of the grippiness of the knife of the G10 and the big choil here it I think it is safe to choke up this way and then you really can control your work very good so also great ergos draw cut grip uh, less ergonomic because then this portion is a bit harsh on your on this area uh, but when you have the grip more to the back then it's also very ergonomic but then you don't control the blade as much as when you hold it like this and then reverse grip great ergonomics uh, and that's of course due to the fact that it is a hogbill styled karambit like knife so all in all the ergos are very good only draw cut grip is a bit less but for the rest great ergos for choking up for me personally the ramp could have been left uh, could have been left and then it even was more ergonomic but all in all great ergos I have to test the knife but that will take some time because I will send it for a pass around and after it returns and it will take quite some weeks before it returns then I will also test it out for EDC tasks and I'm very curious about how it performs as well as the steel uh, the steel is the CR10 10 CR15 10 COMOV and it's a relative new steel it's the Chinese equivalent of VG10 so a more budget friendly steel and VG10 I like very much because it's very easy to sharpen it takes an edge very well uh, it gets razor sharp and it, the performance of the steel is also pretty good and if the performance of the steel is in the same realm as VG10 then I'm very happy with it um, but I have to test it out I don't know yet and if you google the steel the 10CR 15CO MOV you, you don't get results with experience of this steel but my guess is 
uh, when it performs just as VG10 it's a very good steel. Um, so the Red Queen very clean design except for this portion where you can see the brand name and the name of the the model num uh, the model name but other than that a very nice design I think for some people it would have been nicer when the colors were a bit less uh, how do I put, what, how do I say this uh, a bit less less funky, funky maybe a bit more distinguished but then again I personally don't mind colors because when you are working and have your tools laying around with this coloring you can find your tool back very quickly so the Max Ace Red Queen it comes in a nice box a kind of box that reminds me of the Boca Plus brand which also come, come often in this kind of boxes with a foam insert the knife sits in the plastic baggie in this foam insert no paperwork just a decent box with the name and the SKU number nothing fancy but just a good package knife is very smooth I like it I like it very much when I saw it on the pictures I didn't expect me to like it that much I, I really like it very useful knife great ergos this knife um, I think it's also very nice price point with the hundred dollars so it's a more budget friendly knife than the Red Queen with titanium and M390 that's not so budget, budget friendly I think Max Ace did a great job fit and finish are very good really very good by the way it has an internal stop in and you can see it right there integrated in the blade and then it hits the steel liners so it doesn't stop on the I don't know if it shows on camera but steel liners doesn't so it doesn't stop on the aluminum so it's a very strong construction the Red Queen from Max Ace nice knife big not very heavy great ergos very useful for EDC tasks if you like this video please like it if you like my channel please subscribe that's it for now. Bye bye.